City Series cigars and Citrus 7s, Black Cement 3s, 4s, the hairs and bread 11s. No doubt that I'll be wearing some fire at any sighting. With these Doran Becker 5s, you can see me in any lighting. It's exciting. I'll be flexing to the coldest degree. What's up, everybody? It's Sneakerhead M Checks. Today, I will be reviewing these men's Fearless Ones, also known as the UNC to Chicago ones. I love these. I heard this pair was inspired by the patent leather Jordan 1 Miz that released back in 2003. That's the UNC colorway, the Chicago colorway, and the black and metallic gold colorway. Now obviously this is the UNC part, this is the Chicago part, but where's the black and metallic gold? <laughs> I don't see it. I've been closely examining this shoe and I don't see anything. One would think maybe this Wings logo over here, but nah, not even. This Wings logo on these is actually from the 03 Chicago pair. So maybe these were only inspired by the UNC and the Chicago patent leather Jordan 1 Midge from 03. That makes a lot more sense. The name, UNC to Chicago, the look, it's a nice little even split right here. That's gotta be it. So here's a close look at them. A nice smooth coat of patent leather covers the entire shoe except for the sole, tongue, and inside. Regular rubber sole with the red bottom and the white on the midsole. The tongue is the same material most high top Jordan 1s have. They come with three pairs of extra laces. Normally I keep the original laces in my Jordan 1s, but for these, I think I might try the white ones. These have a unique insole. It has the word fear crossed out. I guess the fear crossed out represents fearless. And then under that you have repeated smaller text. It reads, limits like fears are often just an illusion. Damn, Jordan Brand getting deep on us. <laughs> but nah, that's cool. On the left shoe you have the fearless hang tag. On this side we have the crossed out fear. And on the other side, you have the quote from the insole followed by Michael Jordan's signature. See, I think Jordan Brand likes to confuse us. Now, with the whole 2003 patent leather Jordan 1 inspiration thing where you have the UNC and the Chicago colorway combined on here, the name UNC to Chicago fits perfectly. But then they put the whole fearless spin on these as well. You got the hang tag, the insole, the box, which I'm going to show you guys in a few, is just like the women's pair of fearless ones that dropped on the 22nd. I've been trying to figure out what the women's fearless ones have in common with these, and I haven't found anything except for the fearless name and the hang tag and the insole and the box. So they confused me with that, but regardless of what you want to call these, they are sexy. I was expecting these to come in a traditional Jordan 1's box, but this one's actually a little different. Instead of this black box with the red logos, the Fearless 1 box has the red box with the black logos. The box label is not in the usual format we get on Jordan 1's. For the past like 7 years or so, we were getting this label on Jordan 1 boxes. Then the last few Jordan 1 releases, I have seen this thinner label. But this label looks kind of like the label on some of the other 2019 retros, like the Retro Seattle label. You see these right here, they look pretty similar. The paper on the inside has the same repeated text from the insole. And it also comes with this special card. This looks nice, but I'm fine with the black and red box too. The label, I really could care less as long as I know what the shoe is and what size it is. You know, it's whatever to me. Now I got these just to do a review on them. I thought they looked cool in the pictures, but they just didn't really excite me enough to keep them in my collection. So I just plan to resell them after I finish this video. But there's been a change of plans. When I picked these up and I saw them in person, I immediately knew that this was a must have for the collection. Whether you're planning to get these to wear or to resell, they're not going to be that easy to get on the sneakers app or any of the raffles. But if you're already feeling these based off of the pictures, I would definitely recommend trying to cop a pair because they look even better in person. Good luck to everybody trying to cop these November 2nd. I have plenty of reviews and and other sneaker related content on the way so make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can stay updated with that i also have a giveaway in the works that'll begin after i hit 10k followers on instagram so if you're not following me there already my at name is the same as my youtube channel at sneakerhead m checks so stay tuned for that and i'll see you all in the next video